Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert, and this is Pro Tools plugin MIDI control with Refuse Mulligan. Pro Tools users have a choice of devices to control audio plugins using Yukon or Huey, but Mulligan lets you use any MIDI controller that has knobs or buttons on it. Here's my mix in progress. Setting up Pro Tools to work with Mulligan is easy enough, so in Setup, just going to MIDI, into my devices. I can see that I have Mulligan selected there, and then in my MIDI peripherals, I have Mulligan here. Now it actually expects to see um, an M Audio hardware keyboard controller, and then I'm selecting my Mulligan drivers as the sends and receives. In Mulligan itself, you've got some options to show or hide the heads up display. I've got mine on. And to map physical controls in Mulligan, you simply select it, move it, and then it's done. And I've mapped some buttons as well for navigation, so I can navigate tracks. I can cycle through plugins. I can show and hide. And I've also got some transport setup as well. And in my compressor, I can do cool things such as turning two controls at the same time. So because I don't have motorized encoders, I do have to turn them to pick things up. And then once they're picked up, then you have them there. I'm loving the navigation, so I can just go straight across to my piano. And across to my vocal. It's thorn, but yours have been growing from the day you were born. You smiled and said you were letting go, but now the joke's on you. There was a time when we were close, but now. Now, if you don't have a conventional fader to hand, it's not a problem with Mulligan because you can, of course, use a gain plugin for levels or automation and control that instead with your rotary. It's thorn, but yours had been growing from the day you were born. You smiled and said you were letting go, but now the joke's on you. There was a time when we were close, but now this one is... So that is Pro Tools plugin MIDI control with Refuse Mulligan. To find out more about Mulligan and to read our full article, head over to the Production Expert blog.